let's, let's move on. Let's assume that you have named the decision maker. Her name is Jane Jones. The next human being that you might encounter is Jane Jones' secretary or Jane Jones' assistant. And so I'm going to give you some scripts to use when you encounter that assistant. Now, the first concept that I'd like you to get, let's imagine for a moment that Hillary Clinton is calling your prospect. And the prospect secretary says to Hillary Clinton, and by the way, this is not a political endorsement. I just know that everybody knows who she is. That's why I'm using her. OK, so the secretary says to Hillary Clinton, what is this in reference to? I am willing to bet that Hillary Clinton would not say, oh, well, gee, um, gee, I used to be the Secretary of State. And um, before that, I was a candidate for President of the United States. And um, before that, I was a senator from the great state of New York. And um, before that, I was First Lady. And maybe I'm running for President again in 2016. Maybe you've heard of me. She's not going to say that. She's going to say, this is Hillary Clinton. Or please tell Jane it's Hillary Clinton, or something like that. Now, I know what you are all thinking. Hey, Wendy, I'm not Hillary Clinton. I'm not famous. It doesn't matter. Whatever you might think about Hillary Clinton, and I know uh, some people love her and some people hate her, whatever you might think about her, the woman has a lot of confidence. And so the basic script, and I'm going to go through it, but the, ba the answer to what is this in reference to is your name, and your company name said with a whole lot of confidence. That is the answer. And now I'm going to go through these scripts. And all of these scripts that I am giving you are in the workbook for Module 1. OK. So again, we are calling large companies where uh, there are two levels of screening. There was that receptionist level. And now we're moving on to the secretary or the assistant. We have named the decision maker. We know her name is Jane Jones. So you're going to call, a, call, to, uh, call Jane Jones. Jane Jones' secretary is probably going to answer and say something like, Jane Jones' office, how may I help you? OK. And you are going to say, Jane Jones, please. Not. May I speak with Jane Jones? Why do you think, type this into the chat box, why do you think I am saying Jane Jones, please, rather than may I speak with Jane Jones? Anybody, what, what's the answer? Why do you think I'm making that, that distinction? I'm uh, going to continue on with the script while I wait to see you. OK, here are some answers. OK, Carol says it makes it sound like you know her. Uh, OK, Chris said, because the answer can be a no. Exactly. May I speak with Jane Jones? No. Um, OK, Carl said, never ask a question that can be answered in one word. Uh, Cindy said, it's easier to beg for forgiveness than ask for permission. I, I'll go with that. Uh, Sean said, you're not asking questions. Jonathan said, it's an order. Yes, Jonathan, you're giving direction. I mean, imagine for a moment. Well, actually, more than a manage, more than imagine, you are a peer of the person that you are calling. That is the position that you want to have firmly held in your mind. You are a peer, and so it's almost like you have a secretary too. And you know what? If you don't, probably one day in the future you will. Yeah, Mia says places you in a subordinate position. Exactly, exactly. You're asking permission of the secretary. Remember, you are a peer of the person that you're calling, so you are giving direction. Jane Jones, please. You got it. You all have it. Um, all right. So the secretary may very well say, who's calling? And you say, you give this, that secretary your name, and you ask the question, is she available? So I would say, this is Wendy Weiss. Is she available? And I would say it just like that. Uh, perhaps you heard the flatness of my tone, the expectation that I would get an answer to that question. Because here's the thing. If Jane's not available, if she's out of the office, she's in a meeting, she's on a conference call, you can't talk to her. So you want to know if she's available. And you are also controlling the conversation by asking that question. Now, that secretary may very well tell you, 
Jane's in a meeting. Jane's out of the office. You can't talk to her. Uh, we'll talk about voicemail later. But basically, if she's not available to talk, you can't talk to her. It's time to do something else.